Good Tuesday morning once again. Two special guests in studio, Byron and Hannah from Relay for Life. Thanks for waking up early with us. Thank and you. Thanks for having us. A uh, big event coming up still a couple months away, but we want to start uh, getting in people's heads, reminding them about this great event. First of all, Relay for Life, Byron, what's it all about? Uh, it's an event where people come together to um, show their support uh, for cancer survivors uh, or to remember those uh, who we've lost for cancer. And it's also a great way, uh, the main focus is to raise funds uh, for cancer research and cancer awareness. Okay. Now a big event tonight uh, for some team captains. Hannah, uh, what do you guys have going on tonight, kind of a step forward? Well, just to go over any questions that you have, everyone's invited, even if you're not on a team, but you're looking to be on a team, all your questions can be answered. We'll just go over what we can look forward to and what we can expect from Relay. And what are some of the things that will be discussed tonight? Uh, information uh, folks can gather at the meeting. And, and for those of you at home looking at your screen, there's some information about the meeting tonight if you can attend. Uh, but, but what are some things you guys will be discussing further? Uh, some of the things we're going to talk about tonight are uh, events within the event. Yeah. Uh, th there's themed laps, so we're going to discuss those themes. So. Uh, teams can prepare for those. Uh, there's great fundraising opportunities within that theme. Um, also, we're going to talk about uh, the Hope Lodge, which is in Grand Rapids. It's a, a place where um, patients uh, can stay for free um, who are uh, having treatment uh, that are from Traverse City. So we're going to talk about Hope Lodge a little bit, um, as well as where we're currently at as far as uh, teams developed, where we need to be, our goals, how many funds we've raised, sponsorships, things like that. Yeah, I was going to ask you, what, what are some of the goals for this year's uh, this year's walk? Well, we would like 60 teams. We're at 32 currently, so we're more than halfway there. And our goal for money is 95,000, and we're a little over 15,000. All right, so you're getting there, making some strides. And when is the actual walk? When's, when and where is that taking place? June 8th and 9th at the uh, Grand Traverse County Civic Center. Okay, and, uh, and for those of you that don't know, uh, in Traverse City, just off of Garfield Road, am I correct? Is it Garfield, right off the Civic Center? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like right at the corner what of Garfield. Wanted to, wanted to make sure I was giving the right information. <laughs> That's uh, right. You know, any last words of encouragement, folks, maybe who have never done this before, any words of encouragement to get them out there and take part? Well, I... It's, Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's easy to become involved. Uh, it's a 24-hour relay, but that doesn't mean that you're the one relaying for 24 hours. Sure. You get a team of friends and family together who are all in it for the same reason, and, it, and it's really a great way. It's very touching and emotional, and I'm everyone has somehow had been affected by cancer, whether it's themselves or a family member or a friend or whomever. So it, it's it's really great to just get together and. And we help you raise those funds. You're not on your own. There's sure. plenty of support. It's easy. It's so easy. And the 24 hours may sound intimidating, but everyone comes together and has a wonderful time. It's so much fun. Good stuff. I want to thank you both for coming and talking about Relay for Life with us this morning. Thank Thanks you. again for having us. Thank you.